सहनावतु सहनो भुनक्त सह वीर्य करवाबह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाषावह शाति 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 मैथिपते रघुनंदना मैथिपते
श्रीराम जय राम जय जय राम श्रीराम जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम अतुलित बल धाम हेम शैलाभदेह धनुज वन कृशानु ज्ञानीनाग्रगण्यम सकलगुण निधान वानराधीश रघुपति प्रिय भक्त भात जात नमा रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जात नमा humble processions to one and all present here so yesterday we had seen jambavan's words that hanuman you are born to serve the lord these words have a miraculous effect upon hanuman ji he becomes huge like a mountain of gold full of confidence and strength bowing down to everyone he takes a leap into the ocean flying high above the ocean so how was hanuman ji is flying what was the comparison like the arrow of the lord what kind of arrow infallible arrow amoghaban which can never fail meaning hanuman ji was a perfect instrument in the hands of the lord so what was the first obstacle mainaka parvat so mainaka mountain offers rest comfort luxury Hanuman ji said as long as i have not completed bhagwan's work there is no rest for me what was the second obstacle surasa who sent surasa devatas they wanted to test hanuman ji's buddhi and bala so surasa came in between with an open mouth hanuman ji became bigger and bigger she also kept on expanding her mouth keeping it wide open hanuman ji understood this is a total waste of time become small enters into her mouth and comes out so the point is there are times when we have to lose the smaller battle in order to win the bigger battle there are times when you have to drop the ego in bhagavatam also there are many instances where bhagwan shri krishna runs away <laughs> not fighting the battle i think it was mujukunda or somebody don't remember he runs away from there finally that rakshasa was killed so there are times when we have to stoop down in order to conquer so surasa also blesses hanuman ji then comes simhika so she had the ability to pull down any flying being by catching hold of the shadow so hanuman ji tears her open and kills her so these three obstacles yesterday we had seen the spiritual meaning also what is that these are the obstacles faced by the seekers when they are doing spiritual sadhana the first obstacle is at the body level mainaka the second obstacle is at the sense organs level and the third one is at the 
mind level especially the ego as you advance in spirituality you are face to face with subtler and subtler obstacles in the beginning it is a grosser obstacle as you advance it is subtler and subtler obstacle and the subtlest obstacle is the obstacle of the ego very difficult to even detect it fine hanuman ji reaches the other shore and he places himself in order to have a clear view of lanka and he finds that the city was beautifully planned it was rich prosperous to such an extent that even the compound walls were made of gold studded with gems and jewels etc that city was beautifully planned a highly materialistic culture he could see there and the whole city was well protected by chaturangini sena what is chaturangini sena the fourfold entity should be there in that sena what are the fourfold entities number 1 foot soldiers number 2 horses number 3 chariots number 4 elephants so these four together that is called as chaturangini sena and there is a particular number and then that sena will be called akshaughini i think some 1 lakh foot soldiers some 60000 elephants and all that the measure is given so in mahabharata war how many akshaughinis were there 18 Seven of Pandavas and eleven of Kauravas. So this Chaturangini Sena was protecting the whole city. So then Hanuman ji felt this is not the right time to enter. So he was waiting for the night time to come. And when night time came, Hanuman ji took the size of a mosquito and then entered, remembering the law. So whatever Hanuman ji does, the first thing is he would remember the Lord and then do. The moment he entered, who stopped him? Lankini stopped him. She was the like Adhisthana Devata, like presiding deity of the whole Lanka. How dare you enter? Hanuman ji gives a solid blow to her. She falls down unconscious, but then she was happy. because that was the indication of the end of ravana brahma ji had told her when such a thing happen when a monkey overpowers you that is a indication that ravana's time has come to an end so she was happy she also blessed hanuman ji and she said hanuman remember the lord then what will happen all your obstacles will become an opportunity they will become a blessing in disguise this is what happens when a person performs his duties responsibilities faces challenges holding on to god thus hanuman ji enters into lanka he searches everywhere but he does not find sita mata again this is another obstacle in front of hanuman ji so remembering the lord at that time his attention falls upon one beautiful palace and this palace was unique because it was like a temple so whose palace it was vibhishana's palace so again hanuman ji was doubtful whether these rakshasas are playing a trick upon me or not they can be mayavi they can do anything but then at that time it was almost brahma muhurta Vibhishna chants the name of the Lord and gets up in the morning. Ram, Ram. So at that time, Hanuman ji understands this is definitely a devotee of the Lord. Hanuman ji himself goes, introduces himself, and then both of them sing the glory of Bhagwan. Experience great bliss of devotion. then vibhishna says hanuman do you know how i live here i live like tongue amidst teeth this is the way i live but hanuman ji when i look at myself tamasa tanu 
extremely tamasic body born in a rakshasa vamsha no purity of mind at all no devotion for god at all this is what i find in myself but at the same time when i see what is happening to me great devotees like you are coming and forcefully introducing yourself to me that shows that bhagwan's grace is upon me but when i look at myself i don't deserve any grace at all what is happening so then hanuman ji says oh vibhishna you must know the nature of the lord bhagwan doesn't see who this person is in which caste he is born which creed he is which nationality religion gender he doesn't care all that what he cares is only one how much means is this person turned to bhagwan or not is this person remembering bhagwan or this is all what bhagwan sees Hmm. so therefore our qualification has nothing to do bhagwan doesn't see our qualification look at me you are at least a rakshasa i am a monkey absolutely unfit fickle minded inauspicious in fact the monkeys are the food for rakshasas so therefore compared to rakshasas monkeys are even inferior so look at me but that bhagwan how much grace he has showered upon me and as hanuman ji remembered all those instances where he had been a recipient of bhagwan's grace his voice gets choked with emotion eyes become filled with tears and then he says such a wonderful bhagwan great bhagwan a person who lives a life forgetting that bhagwan how can such a person be ever be happy there is no wonder that there is so much of suffering in this world this suffering is all self created because the root cause of this suffering is only one forgetfulness of god in this way they spend time remembering the lord in wonderful satsang and then finally hanuman ji says vibhishna i have come for a purpose i have come in search of sita mata can you please guide me now vibhishna had all the information regarding where sita mata was how did he get this information his own daughter trijata was in charge of you know taking care of sita mata so trijata was the chief rakshasi <laughs> so surrounding sita mata so therefore vibhishna had all information so then vibhishna guides hanuman ji go to ashoka vatika there in such and such place you will find sita mata so then hanuman ji bids farewell to vibhishna and goes to ashoka vatika there what happens he goes there remember again hanuman ji takes that small form the form of form of no form of a monkey size of a mosquito <laughs> not form of a mosquito why should he take a form of a mosquito <laughs> he is not going there to drink blood <laughs> anyway so now hanuman ji takes that form and now hanuman ji goes and hides behind a leaf so he finds sita mata seated under ashoka tree he goes and hides behind a leaf what kind of leaf a tender leaf golden in color and then he looks at sita mata there comes another being yes and then what does he do dekhi manahi mahu kin pranam बैठे ही बीती जात निस जाम कृषत नुशीस जटा एक बेनी जपति हृदय रघुपति गुण श्रेणी सो हनुमान जी द मोमेंट ही सॉ सीता माता वट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग ही डेड ही प्रोस्ट्रेटेड मेंटली ऑन टू हर मन ही मन ही मन में 
mentally he prostrated unto her because hanuman ji knew this is saksha jagat janani divine mother and what was her condition so she was seated there under this tree krishatanu she had become very very thin so now we have to remember for almost 11 months so after abduction it's almost 11 months right and in these 11 months sita mata has not eaten anything she has not slept she is just sitting there she has not taken bath just sitting there so naturally what is her condition body has become very very thin krusatanu sees jata ek beni the hairs had become matted and there was this one braid hmm. and what is she doing how is she keeping herself alive japati hrudaya raghupati guna shrini constantly chanting the name of the lord this was how she was keeping herself alive nij pad nayan diye man ram pad kamal li so what was she doing there so she was sitting there in front and she was constantly looking at her feet so looking at her feet she was remembering bhagwan's lotus feet and then constantly she was doing japa of the lord was she peaceful or miserable ha huh. she was peaceful why she was peaceful because her mind was in the lord but those who saw her they felt that she is miserable that topic will come later anyway there is a prayer of kunti mata vipadassantu nashashvat tatra tatra jagad guru दर्शन यपुनर्भव दर्शन ओ लॉड गिव अस मोर एंड मोर सफरिंग कैलामिटी डिफिकल्टी पेन वाई बिकॉज एवरी टाइम देर इज कैलामिटी पेन द प्रेयर कम्स फ्रॉम द डेप्थ ऑफ अवर हार्ट्स एंड वेन प्रेयर कम्स फ्रॉम द डेप्थ ऑफ अवर हार्ट्स वी क्लियरली एक्सपीरियंस यूर प्रेजेंस इन अवर हार्ट the prayer is not a mechanical prayer it becomes a whole hearted conscious devoted prayer so this is the prayer of kunti mata when suffering comes pain comes our prayer also becomes very intense hmm. so in this way sita mata was completely peaceful actually because her mind was constantly focused upon bhagwan was anywhere else if the mind goes utter misery literally she was in hell and this was the only thing which was keeping her alive so when hanuman ji saw this he became extremely miserable param dukhi bhav pavan sut dekhi jaan ki di looking at the condition of sita mata hanuman ji was extremely miserable and he was sitting there behind that leaf not knowing what to do how to break the ice you see because one thing is for sure she will not look anywhere else and if she doesn't look anywhere else how will i ever convey the message she will not trust me she will not look at me again hanuman ji was was in a fix what to do now see various situations where hanuman ji was totally helpless bhagwan save me then something happens <laughs> what happens it was at that time that ravana comes into picture he comes along with us queens and who is the chief queen mandodari along with mandodari and other queens he comes to that place so now 
देन ही स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग टू सीता माता बहु भी दिखल सीत ही समुझावा सामदान भय भेद देखावा इन वेरियस वेस रावणा ट्राइड टू परसुएड सीता माता एंड व्हाट आर द वेरियस वेस ही यूज्ड साम दान भेद दंड ऑल द फोर वेस साम मींस व्हाट पीसफुल वेस ओ सीते व्हाई आर यू स्ट्रगलिंग लाइक दिस सफरिंग लाइक दिस टॉर्चरिंग योर सेल्फ इट इज सच एन इजी थिंग यू बिकम माइन एंड देन यू डोंट हैव टू सफर दिस इज कॉल्ड अ साम पीसफुल वेस देन कम्स दान दान मींस व्हाट टेम्पटिंग ऑफर्स Oh, Sita, if you even look at me, that is what is written. Ek baar bilok mama or if you just even look at me, I will make all these queens, including Mandodiri, your maid servant. They will sit and serve you. You will be the chief queen. So this is called as dana. Then comes bheda, creating confusion, creating division. that rama i am sure he must have forgotten you the very fact that 11 months he has never come i am sure he must have married and settled down somewhere <laughs> he's such a coward if he is really courageous he would have come the very fact that he doesn't come shows that he is weak he has no strength etc etc so what is the use of unnecessarily meditating upon him this is called as a bheda and then the final one danda if you don't do it i will kill you etc so he tried all ways now sita mata did not know what to do with this fellow this was the only trouble in that you know ashoka vatika because when she is doing japa of bhagwan this fellow will come and then create obstacle in her meditation so now what she, she should do she should remain quiet or she should speak she doesn't want to speak but if she keeps quiet also it's a problem maunam sammati lakshanam there is a sanskrit word if you are silent there is a possibility that that silence will be misunderstood so therefore she had to speak how to speak she did not even want to look at him so in those days you know so the ladies never used to look at the face of some other man so they would either speak behind some parda some curtain or they have this you know gungat and all that so now poor sita mata she has nothing so what does she do she plucks a blade of grass and then she speaks to this blade of grass assuming that this blade of grass is this ravana meaning you have only this much of value in my life <laughs> so she plucked one blade of grass and then she speaks he dashamukha ten headed monster is it ever possible now see the comparison is it ever possible that a lotus may blossom in the presence of a glow worm lotus always blossoms in the presence of sun so when the sun rises the lotus blossoms when the sun sets the lotus closes now sita mata says hey dashamukha is it ever possible that a lotus may blossom in the presence of a glow worm you know what is glow worm they call it jugunu ha huh? i don't know whether it, you can call it firefly firefly is the fly which falls into fire right when the fire is there i don't know it glows oh you are you call it firefly <laughs> okay fine so firefly so at the back there is a little light so especially in the night you see them glowing data you will never see in the night you see when extremely dark you see that little light so now sita mata is comparison you are a firefly or glow worm is it ever possible that in that light lotus may blossom so the point is if bhagwan is sun 
that brilliant bright sun you are nothing but a globe this is the comparison when bhagwan was not there you came like a thief and abducted me shameless fellow adham nellach laaj nahi toi don't you have shame you thief and when sita mata compared him with a globe he became extremely angry and then he took out sword as though to kill her and charged towards her it was at that time that mandudri comes mandudri comes stops him now this shows the glory of mandudri just now what did ravana say if you want look at me i will make this mandudri also your chief servant maid but now mandudri comes and stop me oh lord please don't do that so this shows the greatness of mandudri because any other lady in that place would have been happy isn't it <laughs> any wife cannot st- what do you call cannot tolerate another lady competing with her to get her husband no lady can tolerate it so any other lady would have been happy yes it's better she is killed so that i will not have a competitor hmm. but mandudri interferes stops no oh lord you are not supposed to do it's a great sin she is a great pativrata lady is just woman the mahapapa that is why you will find mandudri's name among the five ladies whom we should they are called as pratasmarani you should remember them every day in the morning who are they <laughs> tara mandudri ahalya draupadi and sita mata five so then she comes and stops and ravana listens to her that is also something great what does it mean through her love she had conquered her husband so this is what every woman should try to do <laughs> you are here not to conquer with might you are here and the ladies are designed that way to conquer with love and our scriptures also say that no other sadhana is necessary for a woman for man so many sadhanas are given becoming sanyasi renouncing the world etc for ladies what is the only sadhana pati equal to parameshwara that's it that pati may be like a ravana also but don't worry <laughs> even if he is a ravana <laughs> serve him not because he has lot of virtues no 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 serve him as a worship of the lord bhagwan this is my worship unto you i am serving not because this person is worship worthy <laughs> i am serving him because it is my spiritual sadhana for my own purification i am doing this this way when you do that lady need not take sanyas she is equal unto a great yogi who is doing tapas in the himalayas that's what our scriptures say and there are so many such stories where ladies just by fulfilling their family duties responsibilities they have attained to great heights but remember not just by doing duty what has to be added not just love that will become attachment only doing duty as a worship of the lord this is very important then only it becomes karma yoga otherwise it is just karma only as a worship of the lord bhagwan this is my worship unto you i will take care of all of them without complaining without grumbling without questioning if this way you can do then you conquer bhagwan through your service so this is what is prescribed in all our scriptures okay so mandudri was such a lady and when she said oh lord no immediately ravana stopped anyway 
Then Ravana said, one month time I give you. So all these Rakshasis were there. And the description is not given here, but it's given in Valpmiki Ramayana, how they looked like. Oh my God. Some had three, four eyes on the face. Some had three, four hands, three, four legs. Some had eyes on the stomach. Some had nothing on the face, only a blank slate. All kinds of Rakshasis were there. And all of them were flesh-eating ones. Perfect non-vegetarians. And they used to eat everything. Cow, goat, buffalo, human beings, everything. So these kinds of Rakshasis were there day and night around Sita Mata. Now you can imagine that condition. But Sita Mata survived only because her mind was constantly in the Lord. If the mind is in the Lord... Even in hell, you are in heaven. Hmm? So then, Ravana called all these Rakshasis and said, One month time I will give you. If the Sita doesn't listen to me, I am going to kill her. Became very angry, shouted at all of them and then he left. So then all these Rakshasis, they were scared. All of them went and started troubling Sita Mata. That was the time when Trijata calls all of them. Hey, all of you, come here. I have to tell you something. What is that? See, yesterday night I saw a dream. And what was the dream? In that dream, I saw that one monkey comes to Lanka and he burns the entire Lanka. And the monkey is sitting there and listening all this. <laughs> I saw a dream and I am sure within few days it is going to become a reality. I saw one monkey burning the entire Lanka and our king Ravana, he was seated on a donkey, completely naked. All his ten heads, not ten heads, maybe nine heads were cut. One head was remaining. All the twenty hands were cut, completely naked, sitting on a donkey and he was seen moving southward Dakshina Disha south direction is considered to be the direction of death so he was going and Vibhishna becomes a king and Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra comes along with his army and then in a great procession takes Sita Mata back this I saw it and very soon this is going to become a reality so therefore don't trouble her so then all these Rakshasis fell at the feet of Sita Mata sought forgiveness and all of them went away. That is the greatest service they could do, going away from the scene. So now, there was only this Trijata and Sita Mata there. It was getting dark. And then Sita Mata said, Oma, you are the only solace here in this place. I don't want to live. This, this, this pain of separation is so much that I am not able to bear it tolerate it. So mother, will you please do one favor for me? She said, what is it? Please arrange a funeral pyre and set fire to it. I just want to burn away this body. I don't want to exist in this way. This is so miserable here. Then she said, no, no, don't do all that. Bhagavan will definitely come. He's all powerful few more days and you will be free from all miseries, etc, etc. She tried to console her, but Sita Mata was inconsolable. Finally, Trijata said, Amma, no fire is available now. And then she left the place. So now what is left? Who, who are left now? Sita Mata alone and Hanumanji sitting at the, behind that leaf. Now here is one episode which you will not find in any other Ramayana. See, Valmiki Ramayana is little, you know, a lot of sorrow is there in that. Whereas Tulsi Ramayana is very sweet, full of devotion. And then what happens? No, Sita Mata is, her mind is only thinking of one thing. And what is that? How to put an end to this life? Because the misery had become so intense. 
she did not want to leave it is said here that every second was like a kalpa for her every moment because when suffering becomes too much you feel as though time is not even moving so that was her condition and now the mind was focused only on one thing how to get fire because as far as the wood is concerned it is available one thing what is lacking is fire so now her mind was filled with this thought how to get some fire so then she looks into this sky and what does she find there stars now she is begging to the stars oh stars you have so much of fire why don't one of you just fall down and <laughs> give me some fire then her attention goes to somebody little more close who is that the moon the bright brilliant moon oh moon you are so near why don't you at least you know have some sympathy for me and give me some fire then her attention come to this ashoka tree this leaf which leaf where hanuman ji was there sitting behind so her attention goes to that leaf what is the color of that leaf golden in color meaning like the color of the flame of fire so now she is asking oh ashoka tree your name is ashoka ashoka means what shoka means sorrow so the one who puts an end to sorrow is called ashoka so why don't you live hmm. befitting your name you are ashoka tree so therefore please give me a little fire that leaf now she is addressing to that leaf you have so much of fire with you so now sita mata is saying only fire wherever there is a golden color there is fire now this is also a psychology because whatever you intensely crave and desire you see only that everywhere so there was this great philosopher who got lost in a forest for two three days he was there miserable no food no water and it was a jungle so therefore he had climbed a tree just to save himself from this wild animals so after 2 3 days he he was a poet also so great poetry and all he had written <laughs> he was sitting on a branch and that was his full moon day moon was shining brilliant on the sky and you know what he saw there he saw a chapati there <laughs> he had written such wonderful poetry on the moon the beauty of the moon but that time he laughed at himself because he seen a chapati floating there <laughs> the point is this when the mind is possessed of you know, craving for something you start seeing only that everywhere so therefore sita mata was seeing only fire in the stars in the moon even in that leaf which appeared golden in color of the nature of fire and now she you know literally begging for fire oh ashoka tree you have so much of fire with you why don't you give a little so with the palms raised asking for fire and this was the time when hanuman ji was watching right time it was literally as though sita mata was looking at him because he was just behind that leaf and at that time what hanuman ji does he drops that mudrika bhagwan's ring the gold ring and when hanuman ji drops it now you can imagine the ring is coming down shining so sita mata thought this is fire and immediately she grabbed it thinking it is fire she felt that it is cold to touch so she opened and what did she find there she found bhagwan's mudrika ring very clearly bhagwan's name was written first she felt very happy 
but suddenly she became miserable first joy and then sorrow why the sorrow the sorrow came when she started analyzing how did this ring come here is it that somebody defeated bhagwan that is not possible is it that somebody killed bhagwan and took that ring away from bhagwan that is also not possible then how did this ring come so she was you know wondering what was happening little anxious worried it was at that time that hanuman ji starts singing the glory of bhagwan the whole story of bhagwan he started singing and as hanuman ji sang those glories with a heart filled with devotion with love in a sweet tone all the sorrows of sita mata vanished she started searching for who is this person who is singing she did not find anyone so she had to literally ask who is this singing will you please come in front of me all her sorrows vanished she was cheerful now and at that time hanuman ji jumps down in front of her the moment she sees hanuman ji a monkey immediately she turns her face thinking that this is some some rakshasa in disguise she just turned her face and at that time hanuman ji said oh mother it was i i only had dropped this ring i am the duta of bhagwan sri ramchandra ji please trust me this is the token of identification which i have given you so then sita mata asked how is it possible that human beings can ever come in contact with monkeys you are a monkey then hanuman ji told the entire story amma do you remember when you were kidnapped you looked down and you saw some monkeys sitting on a rock do you remember that yes and seeing those monkeys you took away all your ornaments and threw in that direction do you remember yes amma that monkey was none other than my king sukriva he was seated along with some other ministers so all those ornaments they took and they gave it to bhagwan now at present bhagwan along with these monkeys they are hmm, they are searching for you as a part of that i have come here so the way hanuman ji was telling this that concern that love the devotion for bhagwan so then sita mata understood that indeed jana manakram bachanaya krupa sindhu karadas by thought word and deed this monkey is a great devotee of bhagwan all the sorrows of sita mata vanished and then sita mata said hari jan jani priti ati gaadhi sajal nayan pulakavali baadhi bhudat birah jaladhi hanumana bhaya hutat mukahu jal jana seeing hanuman ji filled with devotion for god and his love is concerned Sita Mata's eyes became filled with tears hair stood on end her heart filled with love for bhagwan and then she said hanuman i was literally drowning in an ocean of sorrow it was at that time that you came like a huge ship i was literally drowning in an ocean of sorrow and that's the time you have come at the right time like a ship you have come and saved me so those tears were the tears of gratitude arman tell me how is bhagwan along with his younger brother are they fine bhagwan is an embodiment of compassion his heart is so tender how is it that he has become so rough hard hard hearted stone hearted so many days have passed and you know he has not even turned 
that lord who is giving so much of joy to everyone how has he forgotten me and suddenly sita mata enters into a state of depression i think bhagwan has forgotten me and seeing this misery of sita mata hanuman ji said no no amma that is not true in fact let me tell you how much love you have for bhagwan bhagwan's love is twice as much towards you hmm? to prove it let me give this message which bhagwan has sent now hanuman ji is giving the message of bhagwan hmm? so now this is bhagwan ramchandra ji speaking through the message कहे हु राम वियोग तव सीता मो कहूँ सकल भये विपरीता नवत रुकि सलय मनहु कृसानु काल निशास मनिशिष शिभानु ओ सीते द डे द मोमेंट यू गॉट सपरेटेड फ्रॉम मी एवरीथिंग दैट वॉज फेवरेबल became unfavorable for me everything that was joy giving now is giving only sorrow to me hmm. so now some examples are given navataru kisalaya manahu krasanu these new tender leaves which look like you know golden color they appear like flames of fire for me kala nisasa manisi the night appears like the night of pralaya deluge dissolution where everything is destroyed night is no more joy giving night for me it is only miserable nights like the night of pralaya sasi bhanu even the moon they say the rays of the moon they are cooling but for me this moon has become like scorching rays of sun kubalaya bipina kuntavana sarisa the bed of lotus now it appears as though they are spears piercing me barid tapat telu janabarisa this rain the shower it's very cooling but for me it appears as though they are boiling oil which is being showered hmm? जे हित रहे करत ते पीरा इट इज अ वेरी स्ट्रेंज थिंग दैट दो पीपल हुम वी आर अटैच टू दे आर द वंस हू गिव द मैक्सिम सॉरो इज अ फैक्ट वेर एवर देर इज इंटेंस अटैचमेंट यू विल फाइंड दैट द पेन ऑल्सो इज कमिंग फ्रॉम देयर ओनली उरग स्वास सम त्रिविध समीरा this cool gentle soft breeze now for me it is no more joy giving breeze it is like the hot breath coming out of poisonous serpents kahe hu te kach dukh ghati hoi it is said that when you share sorrows it decreases when you share your sorrow with someone it decreases but my problem is with whom can i share this sorrow तत्व प्रेम कर मम अरुतोरा जानत प्रिया एक मनमोरा दिस हाउ मच आई लव यू ओनली वन एंटिटी नोज एंड दैट इज माई ओन माइंड सो मनु सदा रहत तो ही पाही जान प्रीति रस एत नहीं माही सो दस दिस माइंड इज एवर रिमेम्बरिंग यू आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड how much i love you and then what happened when sita mata heard this message from the lord she was absorbed in devotion for god she completely lost her body consciousness and remained in that state for some time absorbed in love now here there is a spiritual message also hmm? what is a spiritual message see in saguna upasana there is a relationship which we develop with god there is a relationship and all of us must have one relationship 
choice is up to you what kind of relationship you want if you see all these great saints they had one relationship what was ramakrishna paramahamsa's relationship i am a child god is my mother divine mother what was surdar ji's relationship i am the parent and krishna is my child that was a relationship you see and there is a beautiful story i don't know whether i have shared this story with you so one surdas ji and tulsidas ji they were sitting and chatting and suddenly someone came and said that see one wild elephant is running run away from here surdas ji became very miserable tulsidas ji was sitting there he immediately became miserable and ran away from there hid behind some tree or something after the elephant had gone he came back tulsi has said what kind of devotee are you <laughs> you are anxious worried miserable don't you know that god will protect us then surda ji says see as far as you are concerned rama is your master so rama will protect you as far as i am concerned krishna is my child i have to protect my child <laughs> you see <laughs> the whole point is the situation is the same but what kind of relationship you have with god accordingly will be your behavior isn't it for meera bai krishna was like her husband beloved so one relationship we must have with god and more and more we should try to invest in that relationship try to always think in that relationship for arjuna it was a sakya bhava krishna is my friend so all relationships are acceptable in christianity they have this father son relationship but in hinduism we have all relationship any relationship is fine the more and more you start investing in that relationship thinking in terms of that relationship that relationship becomes stronger and stronger and slowly you start taking your personality starts transforming according to that relationship as the intensity of devotion grows as the depth of that relationship grows it is said that ramakrishna paramahamsa once he was meditating upon you know hanuman ji so literally he became like a monkey jumping from one branch to another people were confused what has happened to him and they, and it is said that his tail also start growing you see and it is true because a sthule sharira is coming out of sukshma sharira if the mind strongly believes that i am this the body has to reflect it it is said that ramakrishna paramahamsa when he started meditating upon the gopis his breast started developing and he had periods also it is said you can't believe it it is a fact yeah when your mind is thinking so strongly that i am a woman then the body will behave accordingly these are all something which is which can be explained only through spiritual terms so what i am trying to say is this we have to have that kind of relationship with god and once this relationship becomes very intense a time comes when whatever happens to the devotee something happens to god also because they become inseparable it's something like a mother child relationship have you observed the moment tears well up in the eyes of the child the heart of mother also melts they happen simultaneously something happens here and something happens there also hmm. so that is why if you see this when sita mata had only one thought to die fire at that time this ring comes and then for time being that sorrow goes away hmm. 
when the jivatma or when the devotee is miserable something happens to put an end to that misery if you find this relationship with this earth and this rain you will find this especially we find it you know the place where i was coming from mangalore and all that there are times when it becomes extremely hot especially during the summer season temperature goes to very high level and suddenly you f- find a shower <laughs> when the heat becomes intense there is a sudden shower the same thing happens here also when that pang of separation when that misery the sorrow becomes so intense suddenly tears flow and the heart is lightened hmm. so whatever is said is absolutely true so this kind of intimate relationship we will have to develop with bhagwan so actually this is a story of jivatman parmatma it's not just the story of ram and sita or anything hmm. right proceeding further so then few moments sita mata was absorbed in meditation upon the lord when she came down regained her body consciousness hanuman ji said oh mother there is nothing to worry very soon all these rakshasas they are going to become this you know this in the fire of bhagwan's arrow all these rakshasas like moths they will come fall into this fire and get burned amma bhagwan's power is so much so much of delay had happened only because we did not know that you were here now that bhagwan knows we all know that you are here very soon bhagwan is going to come along with the mighty army of monkeys and all these rakshasas will be killed and amma you will be taken back so then sita mata looked at hanuman ji what is the size of hanuman <laughs> mosquito now this mosquito size monkey is saying bhagwan will come with monkeys and then kill all these rakshasas so sita mata looked at him and said he sut kapi sab tumhi samana all monkeys are like you only <laughs> you don't know these rakshasas ja tu dhan ati bhat balavana they are huge monstrous powerful more hriday param sandeha i strongly doubt i can't trust you and then hanuman ji had no other choice you see he had to win the trust of sita mata and he became huge kanak bhudhara kar sharira samar bhayankara ati balabira he became huge so then you can imagine what happened to sita mata she was just looking and this man is growing 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 with awe with wonder sita mata was looking at hanuman ji and she felt yes yes what he is saying is true but you know what hanuman ji did immediately punil ghurup pavan sutalaya immediately he became small because the way sita mata was looking at him it appeared as though she was filled with awe and wonder and appreciation oh my god immediately he became small and you know what he said sunu mata sakha mrg nahi bal buddhi pisal oh mother we are just monkeys sakha mrgam jumping from one branch to another that's all we know buddhi bal nothing is there it is only by the grace of god that whatever you have seen it's all grace of god not mine you see how alert hanuman ji was prabhu pratap te garudahi khai param laghu bial by grace of god anything can happen the so called garuda for garuda what is the food snake is the food but by the grace of god it is possible that garuda can become the food of the snakes that is bhagwan's grace anything can happen so in the same way o mother 
here also the same thing bala buddhi doesn't belong to me it's all bhagwan's grace so you see how much hanuman ji was alert whenever there was some praise some recognition he was not enjoying it <laughs> immediately he became alert because who is our greatest enemy the ego you see immediately he became so much oh mother please don't misunderstand it is not my strength it is all his and when sita mata saw this she was clean bold <laughs> here is a monkey not only is an embodiment of strength he is an embodiment of wisdom at the same time most important what is it embodiment of humility embodiment of devotion embodiment of surrender embodiment of gratitude bas and then sita mata was so happy so happy with him she felt i must bless him man santosh sunat kapi bani bhagati pratap tej balasani these words were filled with glory strength might at the same time devotion humility and then sita mata thought i must bless him asish dini ram priya jana knowing him to be a great devotee of bhagwan now sita mata is blessing hanuman ji o tat o oh my dear son ho ho tat balasil nidhana may you become an abord of bal strength was hanuman ji happy no okay may you become an abord of character may you have a sterling character seal was hanuman ji happy no <laughs> ajar may you never become old was he happy no amara may you never die may you become immortal was he happy <laughs> no guna nidhi may you become an abbot of all noble virtues no effect <laughs> then finally sita mata said karahu bahut raghunayak chohu may bhagwan's love and affection shower upon you may bhagwan love you immensely that was when hanuman ji became really happy hearing this karahu krupa prabhu as suni kana the moment hanuman ji heard this that bhagwan's grace and blessings will be showered upon me his love and affection will be there he will be pleased with me nirbhar prema magana hanumana so till now sita mata was absorbed in devotion for god now hanuman ji lost body consciousness <laughs> nirbhar prema his heart was filled with devotion for bhagwan then bar bar na esi pad sisa again and again hanuman ji prostrated in front of sisa sita mata bola vachan jori kar sisa and then he spoke these words with folded palms ab krut kritya bhayau me mata oh mother now i am totally fulfilled this is what actually wanted from you because asish tava amogh vigyata because this blessing of yours can never become can never be in vain because you are mother of the universe if you have blessed it definitely i am going to get and this is exactly it what i wanted devotion at the lotus feet of bhagwan so now hanuman ji's job is over suddenly he remembers one thing what is that sunahu matu mohi atisaya bhukha i am hungry 
See, so many days he has never even thought of food, he has never even thought of rest, sleep. Once everything is done, suddenly comes his body consciousness. He has not eaten anything. Oh, mother, I am very hungry now. And it's a very strange thing. Whenever you see your mother, you think of food. <laughs> and whenever the mother sees the child, she also thinks of food only. First question is, have you eaten something? <laughs> <laughs> Very strange relationship it is. Sunahu mat mohi ati sayaboka. I am very hungry. Lagi dekhi sundar phalaru ka. So, Amma, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to cook and all that. I am seeing so many wonderful, you know, juicy, sweet fruits hanging. Oh, mother, may I have the permission to eat these fruits? And Sita Mata said, Sunasuta karahi bipin rakhavari. There are so many Rakshasas, Dhanavas who are guarding this. Hmm? Parama Subhat Rajani Charabhari. They are huge, very powerful ones who are protecting this, guarding this thing. Hanumanji said, Amma, I am not scared of them. <laughs> Tinkar bhai mata mohinahi. I don't have any fear of them. Jo tuma sukhma nahu manumahim. You have to give permission. That's all what I need. You just say yes. That's enough. I am not scared of these. But now Sita Mata also had understood that this monkey is not an ordinary monkey. He is an embodiment of knowledge, wisdom, strength. Deki buddhi balab nipunakapi kahehu jaan ki jaho. Raghupati charana hridaya dhari Tata madura phala khavu Hanuman keep Oh my dear son Tata is the term used Oh my dear son Hold on to Bhagavan's lotus feet Ever remember him and then go Eat To your fill hmm. Now Bhagwan, I mean Hanumanji gets a permission from Sita Mata to eat these fruits. But just eating fruit alone was not his. <laughs> there was some hidden agenda also. Chaleu nai siru petheu baga phalaka esitaru tore laga. So what did he do? He went, Amma, okay, I will not eat from here. I will just go other side. <laughs> you know? So he went to the other side of Ashokavana. So that Sita Mata will not be disturbed. Hmm? Lot of hidden agenda was also there, not just eating fruit. So we went to the other side of this forest. And there, first he ate properly. After that, he started uprooting the trees. Hmm? So naturally, lot of noise. All the guards came, what is this happening? So these guards immediately interfered. They saw this monkey doing all this. They interfered. They tried to stop him. And there was this fight. Hanumanji in no time beat them. He did not kill everyone. Deliberately he kept some of them. Left some of them injured. So those fellows, they went and informed. Nath ek avakapi bhari. They all went to Ravana. Oh Lord, one huge monkey has come. And he is destroying all this Ashoka Vatika. Khaya se phal aru bitapu upari. He is eating fruit and he is uprooting these trees. Rechak mardi mardi mahidari. The way he is killing these, you know. Some of them are rubbed and killed. Some of them are squeezed and killed. This is the way Hanumanji was killing all these rakshas. Mashaki Krita Rakshasam, there is a term. Just like how we kill mosquitoes, in the same way Hanumanji was killing all these rakshasas. That was a kind of power he had. So this is the way he is killing. Suniravan Pathe Bhatanana Again, another big army was sent. So when this complaint went, Ravana sends another huge army in order to 
conquer this not conquer rather kill this monkey but again everyone was killed few of them were left they again went and said that this monkey is no ordinary monkey and finally ravana sends his own son what is his name akshay kumar puni pataya hute hi अच्छा कुमारा चला संग ले सुभट अपारा विद बिगर आर्मी अक्षय कुमार आई थिंक वाज़ यंगेस्ट सन ऑफ रावण ही गोस देयर द बिगर आर्मी आवत देख बिटब कहि कर तर जा ताहि निपाति महादुनि कर जा सो एवरी टाइम ही सीज अ बिगर आर्मी हनुमान जीज रोर वुड इंक्रीज हिज एक्साइटमेंट वुड इंक्रीज हिज एंथुसियाज्म वुड इंक्रीज ही वुड बिकम मोर हैप्पी सीइंग अ बिगर आर्मी and what did he do finally he just uprooted one tree and smashed him acha kumar was over kachu mare si kachu marde si kachu mile si dhari dhuri different ways he was killing rakshasas some he smashed and killed them some he squeezed and killed them pounded and killed them rubbed against floor and killed them rubbed against his own body and killed them in different ways <laughs> and then these monkeys again went and informed ravana oh lord this monkey is no ordinary monkey unfortunate your son is no more at this time ravana understood this monkey is no ordinary monkey he calls indrajit what is another name meghnath he said son this time go i am sure you will succeed but what you have to do is i don't want you to kill him you have to bring him alive tie him down and bring him alive because i see he is only a you know he is not the master we want to know who is the master behind him so therefore you know to take out all secrets we need him alive go so now this meghnath his story is also interesting so it is said about this birth of meghnath it is said that Ravana wanted a warrior who was immensely strong the strongest one in this world so what did he do so he was the conqueror of three worlds so he called all these you know stars what do you call that nakshatra all these planets <laughs> he called he himself was a great astrologer so he found out what is that particular position where when a child is born he will become the most powerful person so he calculated where shani rahu ketu whatever this planet should be position and then he called all these planets and said you have to be in this position <laughs> you dare not move from here and everybody was scared all these devatas so it is said when meghnath was going to be born these planets were exactly according to ravana's order and that is how this meghnath became the most powerful person his another name is his name meghnath megha means what cloud nath means thunder so it is said that see normal child when it comes out it comes out crying whereas this meghnath came out and he roared so it appeared as though you know it was like the thundering clouds that's why his name meghna another name is indrajit the one who conquered even indra so all these stories are there about meghna so very very powerful person so finally ravana sends meghnath so now meghnath comes with a bigger army hanuman ji was seated on the top of the tree waiting he knew that 
another batch will come <laughs> so then what happened meghnath comes and when meghnath comes hanuman ji uproots a huge tree now meghnath is coming with his chariot and all that he uproots a huge tree and smashes him meghnath jumps out of his chariot his chariot was smashed into powder he became charioteless and then there was this what you call that dwandva yuddha what you call it duel <laughs> there was this fight and it appeared as though two lordly elephants were fighting with each other and then what hanuman ji does is he gives a solid blow to indrajit the power of that blow was so intense that meghnath falls down unconscious in fact hanuman ji could have killed him right there but he doesn't do that instead he goes and climbs the tree and sits there waits for him to wake up <laughs> so after some time so according to the boxing rules it is over knockout but then he wakes up again and he looks around and he finds that hanuman ji seated there and now these are all maya bees they had varieties of you know astras and they can create so many illusions everything he tries upon hanuman ji but nothing was working finally he had no other option but to use the most powerful weapon what is that brahmastra and he was extremely ashamed that just for the sake of a monkey <laughs> he had to waste one of the most not one of the the most powerful weapon he was so sad and then he fixes brahmastra and shoots then what happens we'll see tomorrow <laughs> now there is a dialogue between that will come tomorrow actually hanuman ji and ravana so tomorrow our session will be at 10:30 okay 10:30 to 12 yes shri guru charana saroj raj nij man mukut sudhari भर नौ रघुबर बिमल जसो जो दायक पल चारि बुद्धिहीन तनु जानी के सुमिर पवन कुमार भल बुद्धि विद्या देहु मोहि हर हु कलेस विकार जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपी सतिहु लोक उजा राम दूत अतुलित बल धामा अंजनि पुत्र पवन सुत नाम महावीर विक्रम बजरंगी कंचन बरन बिराज सुबेसा कानन कुंडल कुंचित केस हाथ वज्र और ध्वजा बिराजे कांधे मूंज जने साजे संकट सुवन केसरी नंदन तेज प्रताप महाजग विद्या बान गुणी अति चातुर राम काज करिबे को प्रभु चरित्र सुनिबे को रसिया राम लखन सीता मन सूक्ष्म रूप धरि सिंह दिखावा विकट रूप धरि लंक जरावा भीम रूप धरि असुर संहार रामचंद्र के काज संवार लायस जीवन लखन जी आय श्री रघुबीर हर शिवर लाये बहुत बढ़ाई तुम मम प्रिय भरत ही सम भाई 
सहस बदन तुम हरो जस गावे अस कहि श्रीपति कंठ लगावे सनकादिक ब्रह्मादि मुनि सनारद सारद जम कुबेर दिग पाल जहां ते कवि को बित कह सके कहां ते तुम उपकार सुग्री वही कीन राम मिलाए राज पद दीन तुमरो मंत्र विभीषण मान लंकेश्वर भय जो जन पर भानु लीलो ताही मधुर फल जानु प्रभु मुद्रिका मिली मुख माहि जल धिलांगि गए अचरज नाहि दुर्गम काज जगत के जेते सुगम अनुग्रह तुम्हारे राम दुआरे तुम रखवारे होत न आत्या बिनु पैसारे सब सुख लहे तुम्हारी शरण तुम रक्षक काहु को आपन तेज संहारो आपे तीनों लोक हांकते कापे भूत पिशाच निकट नहीं आवे महावीर जब नाम सुनावे नासे रोग हरे सब पीरा जपत निरंतर हनुमत संकट ते हनुमान छुड़ावे मन क्रम बचन ध्यान जोला सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा सकल तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई लावे सोई अमित जीवन फल पा चारों जुग पर ताप तुम्हारा है पर सिद्ध जगत उजियार साधु संत के तुम रखवारे असुर निकंदन राम दुलार अष्ट सिद्धि नव निधि के दाता असबर दीन जान की मात राम रसायन तुम्हारे पासा सदार हो रघुपति के तुम्हारे भजन राम को पावे जन्म जन्म के दुख बिसराव अंत काल रघुबर पुर जाए जहां जन्म हरि भक्त और देवता चित्त न धरे हनुमत से सर्व सुख करे संकट कटे मिटे सब पीर जो सुमिरे हनुमत जय 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 हनुमान गुसाई रूपा कर हूँ गुरु देव की नाय जो सत बार पाठ कर कोई छोटे ही बंदी महा सुख हो यह पढ़े हनुमान चलीसा हो ये सिद्धि साखी गौरीसा तुलसीदास सदा हरि चेर की जय नाथ हृदय महडेर की जय नाथ हृदय महडे पवन तनय संकट हरण मंगल मूरति रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बस हसुर भूप सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय बोलो भय सब संतन की जय सर्वे भवंत सुखिन सर्वे संतु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यंतु मा कस्य दुख भाग भवेत असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतम गमय ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्णश पूर्णमाधा 
ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ